Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to verify card on OnlyFans. But before we start, hurry up and check out our digital self purchases under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you verify your card on OnlyFans? Well, verifying your card actually depends on your card itself. So in this case, the verification process might be different for different uh, institutions or for different cards. Again, it will be different depending on the card that you have. In this case, what you need to do first is you need to access your OnlyFans account. Let's go ahead and open up our browser here. Go to OnlyFans.com and log in into our account. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the More section, which is at the left side here. You should be able to see more. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, choose the option that says Your Cards. Now, in this case, if you haven't added any cards in your account yet, usually you should be able to see this option here that says Add Card. But if you already have added a card here, you will be able to access the uh, Add Card button at the top right, which is a card that has a plus button on it. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you just need to provide all the necessary details. So for you to fully use your card or for your card to be accepted by OnlyFans, it is, it is important that you select the appropriate details for your card. That includes where the card is current, it was released. Like for example, we have the country here. So you need to indicate where you're currently at, the state, province, address, uh, the city here, the zip uh, postal code. We also have the card details, which includes the email, that is associated with your card. The name on that card, make sure it's exactly the same uh, name that is in the card here in order for you, in order for OnlyFans to accept your card. Also your card number, expiration date, and CVC. They also need to agree to the, uh, that you're at least 18 years old here uh, or, or in, you're in legal age when you're adding a card here. But once you're added your card, just click on submit. Now, this is the tricky part. Now, depending on your card, uh, you might get a pop-up here just to confirm your identity. So some cards, they don't require that, but for uh, a stricter uh, cards or institutions, they might uh, do a simple uh, test to see if it uh, if that card is ac actually yours. Now, typically, uh, what they're going to do is uh, first is going to be uh, this is a way of them verifying it. So sometimes they would actually deduct a fee from your account. So usually it's around one or two dollars from your account. So they will deduct one or two dollars just to make sure that it actually contains anything or it contains funds on it. And from then on, once they deducted one or two dollars, uh, they will confirm this and basically process your account. And it, it might take a, a one minute or two minutes from then. So in this case, once your account is verified, or once your card is verified, they would actually return those funds. So if they actually deducted $1 or $2, they will return that again back in your account. So you don't need to worry of your account being deducted unnecessarily. So that is the first method of them verifying your account. Now, the second way of them verifying your account is to basically send a certain form of OTP. So OTP is a one-time password, so you might get that PIN or that passcode. Now what you need to do is just need to enter that into your screen there. And once they once you've entered that, they will process and they will verify that this card is really yours. And from then on, they will be able to uh, add this in your account and start using it for subscribing to different accounts. So yeah, again, it, it actually depends on the card that you have, but that's about it. So. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.